Now let's redo that experiment with a rapidly rotating table. We add the purple potassium permanganate, The honeycomb pattern there is evaporative convection. And now we add a couple more colors comparable to the other experiment. And here we go flipping the flap. In the non-rotating experiment, the strongly 3D turbulent vortex quickly mix all the colors together into one patch. In contrast here you see numerous coherent vortices and very long filamentary structures. The colors are pulled out but they're almost never mixed together. And this is because all the structures in this flow are aligned along the rotation axis, just like we saw in the rotating creamer experiment. So these aligned structures have trouble mixing in 3D because they're largely 2D structures. Therefore, the dye doesn't really get mixed very efficiently and you get these big, beautiful vortices. Now we've just tried to mix them again. We flip the flap as hard as we could in the other direction to try to mix the colors together, to try to force mixing. Maybe there was a drop of mixing, but for the most part the yellow is still separated from the green and the blue. And we've now formed a very large purple vortex, and there were shear instabilities around the edge of that vortex, producing a number of satellite vortices around its rim. John Cantwell just added some blue dye, and you could see in this oblique view that the dye quickly become, forms a, an axialized tower and you get a curtain of dye that also is largely 2D and gets sheared out by the vortex flow into a big spiral arm. Showing that again from above, we just see the dye shearing out, not mixing very efficiently. Now we've largely failed at mixing the colors together in the rapidly rotating experiment. So lastly, we're just gonna take a paddle and just paddle it as hard as we can. And that's the next thing we'll see. There it was. We did that as hard as we could to try to mix all the colors together. Maybe there was just a little bit of mixing, but for the most part, you just see strongly turbulent yet rapidly rotating vertical flows. You get large scale vortices with an amazing amount of filamentary structure a lot like what you see in images of vortices on giant planets.